There are many types of volcanic gases which can be emitted during eruptions or when the volcano is quiet. These gases can sometimes have harmful effects. Some gases can have far-reaching consequences for the climate as they form clouds that drift a long way downwind or enter the upper atmosphere and get transported, sometimes around the world. Others have more localized effects as they accumulate in the crater or on the volcano's slopes. Volcanic gases can bubble up through lakes, hot springs, and the ground. The gas can collect in water bodies until a critical event, such as a disturbance of the water, causes a sudden release of the gases. In 1986, over 1,500 people and thousands of animals were killed when carbon dioxide flowed silently downhill into surrounding villages from Lake Nyos in Cameroon. Smaller amounts of other gases have killed swimmers in hot pools or lakes. Remember to follow signs and instructions in geothermal pools and leave the water if you feel ill. Be aware that the water in some hot pools can be acidic or near boiling, so do not swim unless advised it is safe to do so. As gases bubble through water or soil, water, crops and vegetation can be contaminated, threatening supplies for livestock and people. Acids can form which damage vegetation, corrode metalwork, ceramics and paint, and can be harmful to health. Some gases can irritate the skin, eyes, nose and throat, and sometimes make breathing difficult or even cause death. People with existing heart or lung conditions can be especially susceptible. Confined spaces such as caverns, basements, craters, hollows and snow caves can fill with potentially deadly gases which can't be seen or smelt, so care should be taken in these areas. Dead animals or vegetation can indicate the presence of gas. If you feel ill, move quickly to well-ventilated areas. Downwind of a volcano, sulfurous gases can affect air quality in towns and irritate the eyes and throat and affect breathing. If needed, exposure can be reduced by staying inside with doors and windows sealed. If gases are a known problem, the authorities or volcano observatory can provide advice which will change depending on the type of gas and the local conditions. In areas frequently affected by volcanic gases, adaptations can be made to lessen the impact, including using more resilient building materials and crops, and organizing activities to reduce exposure to gases. Follow any advice given, particularly if approaching volcanic craters. Sometimes it is best to leave the area until gas levels are safe.